ओके आई नीड अ टैबलेट दैट इज गुड पावरफुल एंड बजट सैमसंग ए सीरीज पावरफुल वट अबाउट दिस बजट वॉट अबाउट दिस So this is the Redmi Pad and I thought this is another generic tablet but hang on you get the new MediaTek Helio G99 90 hertz 10 bit display new MIUI 13 well how does it hold against other budget tablets Moto Tab G62 Oppo Pad Air well we'll talk about all of it this is Pratik you're already watching Tech Wise let's go and it's a big box you get a 22.5 watt charger in the box but the tablet supports 18 watt charging usb a to type c cable some paperwork and that's it now you would have to buy a kickstand cover because it is very hard to hold the tablet in hand like this way for a long time unlike smartphones tablets are a bit on the heavier side of course it's like a 10.6 inch screen it weighs 449 to 450 grams well under half a kg It's all square. You get metallic finish, 7.05 mm thick. Now, one very interesting thing is you get four speakers, which sounds like. Like I've been using Xiaomi Pad 5 full time, and the speakers are damn good. I use it in the hall, bedroom, toilet, wherever you want. So the speakers on this one are definitely loud and usable, but there's no headphone jack. I mean, don't cry, Manu. Don't cry. I mean, it's 2022. We are still complaining about the headphone jack. The world went somewhere wrong. Now, on the front, you get a 2K 90 Hz LCD display. Now, tablets usually in this price range have an LCD display, and it is a 10 bit display, which is new in this price range. Now, the display is really good. Like, even if you look at it beside a window with sunlight, it has good visibility. It gets really bright, like up to 400 nits. Now, I did notice that at extreme angles, the color fades a little bit, but mostly tablets are kept far ahead, like this, to watch. so this shouldn't be a problem now youtube you can go up to 1440p it doesn't support hdr by the way nowadays youtube is planning to start charging premium for 4k content so let me know if you use 4k on youtube and you get support for widevine l1 so you can watch 1080p videos on both prime video netflix and all other ott apps also one amazing thing you get 2 months of youtube premium free with this redmi pad in case you still didn't have one And the really good thing about Redmi Pad is you get new MediaTek Helio G99. Now the base variant starts at 3 GB LPDDR4X RAM, 64 GB UFS 2.2 storage, and you also have a micro SD card slot which you can expand up to 1 TB. You can buy a 1 TB micro SD card. Try buying that. Now it's a new chip so we ran Geekbench on all budget tablets and it is definitely more powerful than Oppo Pad Air, Moto Type G62. So G99 is more powerful than Snapdragon 680 tablets and a bit below than Snapdragon 695 tablets. Now what would you do with so much power? Well, we played Apex Legends and it runs at 40 fps and the gameplay for 40 fps is good. And if you go to heavier games like Genshin Impact, then that's a bit heavy. You'll see some frame drops here and there, but you can play at low settings. However, for normal multitasking, movie watching, browsing, it works really well. I even connected a USB wireless mouse to it, and it works well for photo editing or just playing normal games. Now you get a 8 megapixel front camera, and that should be useful for video calls. Okay, so now hold on. We'll directly call Sayad, and we'll see how good is the video quality and the mic quality. So now we are on a video call with Sayan and Sayan you have to rate the mic quality and the video quality out of 5. How is the video quality? The video quality I would say it's uh, 3.5. Ah. And how's the mic, mic quality? Mic quality 4.55. I can make out what you're saying. That's Achha, you can make out what I'm saying. Ha, ah, even the speaker quality is good. So oh now you got sharper. And you get an 8 megapixel rear camera now no one uses the rear camera on a tablet but if you have to send a document like you have a document mode where you can take photos of the document crop send it to people overall the camera is good for a tablet or for the price now software is where i think xiaomi tablets separate from all other budget tablets you get miui 13 based on android 12 and you get this dock at the bottom and you can drag and drop apps here from the dock onto the desktop to go to a floating window like usually and when i'm watching a youtube video and i want to take notes i just drag and drop the notes app And now I can use notes while watching the video side by side. You can even resize it. It's all fluid. Now the recent open apps will appear on the right side of the dock. So suppose if I open YouTube, YouTube will appear over here. Now not all apps support floating window. These are the apps that do, and most of them are Xiaomi apps or video calling apps. 
In terms of app and bloatware, it's all clean. MIUI for tablet is generally clean and they have good features. And that is what I think is good about this Redmi tablet. Like most of the tablets in this price range offer specs, but software features are very limited. Like if you see here, Moto Tab side by side, the Redmi Tab, if you swipe down from the right side, you get quick settings. And if you swipe down from the left side, you get all the notifications. So it's much more accessible for two hand usage. And even if you look at the swipe up gestures on both Moto Tab and Redmi Tab, and if you look closely, I'm opening Google Chrome and swiping up, you see the animation is a bit jittery on Moto Tab. So as of now, in budget tablet segment, Xiaomi Mi UI has the upper hand. You also get third party pen support and Xiaomi is promising two years of Android Mi UI updates and three years of security update, which is the best update promise as of now. And it's good to see brands promising updates before you buy the device. In terms of battery, you get an 8000 mAh battery, you get 18 watt fast charging. So it takes about three and a half to four hours to charge 100%. And for charging, usually you get 18, 20 watt charging at this price range. But since the tablet has a bigger 8000 mAh battery, it will take some more time to charge but in my usage i didn't charge it that much like on weekend you can watch one entire eight episode series on one single charge now as far as i've understood budget tablets are getting better now there is more competition now Redmi pad has the best processor display battery for the price and on top of it i feel it has the best software as of now in budget tablets like most of the tablets like moto type g62 have good specs but they come with stock android which doesn't have too many features as of now. Or you get Oppo Pad Air which has good software but the Redmi Pad has better performance and display. Okay, so the prices are just in. The Redmi Tab starts at 12999 and the 4GB 128GB variant which I think most people should consider starts at 14999 and it's actually a very good price. On that note, this is Badi signing off. See you in the next video.